Hello and welcome to a new video. A new Shop Goodwill box. I think this is going to be a good one. It's a big box. This is not a blue box. This is from shopgoodwill.com and you go on and you bid on different boxes and I had one box from this um, particular thrift store before and it was the best I ever ever got so I'm excited really excited about this one let's see okay so we'll do some first impressions <coughs> and then I'm sure I'm gonna have to probably lift some of it out and I'll dig in Oh my. Wow. Well, that's nice. They put a lot of bubble wrap around it. Very nice. Sometimes on the blue box, you don't even get a bag. Oh boy. Okay. I got the phone in one hand, and I don't know how to lift this. I'm going to have to lift it and come back. And here they are. I love how they bag the metallic things in one bag and the beaded things in the other. So I think what I'll do is, since we just did a video on metallic, we should open this bag first. So I'll see you back. It's going to be a little bit noisy while I move the bags around and open them, but that's part of what we do. Oh my gosh, they're so heavy. bubble wrap. This one, what was it called? I think it was called Vintage to Now. Um, it wasn't any kind of a craft lot or anything like that, so should all be wearable. No guarantees, but that's pretty close to what they say. Yikes, this is going to be, there's so much tape around this. Let's see what this side looks like. Oh, there's the zipper bag there. So maybe we can get to that without too much noise. Wow, lots of tape. I think it's good that they did it like this, though, because it seems like there's less moving around of the jewelry and the shipping, which always is helpful. Getting there. Woohoo! And there come the baubles. Those blessed baubles. There they come. Wow. Oh, look at this already. So pretty. Oh, look at all the sparkly things and all the lovely things. There's three bracelets that are just sort of put together. They're not they don't have to be together, but I think they just left them together. Cool. See some pearly things. Wow. Oh, something broke. Oh, is it you? Poor old baby. Oh, wow. These are big earrings. How cute is that? So adorable. Loving it. Okay. <clears throat> they are pierced earrings with like an animal print. There is like a little bit of filigree design there. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I think they're made of wood. And the faux pearls are lightweight. There's another crystal here. Love the chains. I mean, do you want me to give prices? I, I don't want to sound like I'm always selling, but if someone likes something, I also don't want them to go, oh, how much is it? Um, 
I'm just going to have fun right now, and since I already brought up the subject, we'll say three on these, but let's have fun and take a look. Oh, it does look like a vintage faux pearl that got broken. Aww. It amazes me, this vintage jewelry makes it so many years. I mean, think about the pieces that are from the 20s, 30s, 40s, and they make it all this way. It just, it's amazing to me how well things were made and how beautiful it really can be. Okay. Well, this looks animal printy as well. That's fabric. Is it an earring? Oh my gosh, it is another earring. Another big earring. That is so fun. A little bit out of shape. And it's worn. I don't know that I would... I'm going to put these in craft. If someone is in love with them and they want them, just email me at capecodebaygirl at aol.com. Not at gmail, but at aol. And let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to put these to craft. And out of those two boxes, this fell, th those two bags in the box, with all that bubble wrap and all that tape, this fell out of the box. Isn't that cute? It's just a red rhinestone uh, costume ring. And I wondered, what was that doing outside of all of this? Don't know. It's a mystery. Oh, I wonder if we have some rock crystal. I think I'm going to be picking up these pearls for a while. So maybe some rock crystal? Let's see, I've got to be able to get the camera to focus. Um, rock crystal with like root beer color beads. Really cute. Barrel clasp. Stretch bracelet. Flip flops, come on. Is that cute or what? I'm not seeing any missing. Well, maybe there's one missing there. Let's see, is there? Yeah. That's a lot of little rhinestones and a lot of little flip-flops to not have one missing. Cute, though. This is so pretty. I'm disappointed that something's missing. Clip-on Aurora Borealis Crystal. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe we'll find what goes in there and it can be fixed. I hope so. Because that baby came a long way. Oh, here's the other. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. They are precious. I would wear these. I have some like this that are bubble. They're called bubble glass because they look like a bubble. I would wear those. They're really pretty. Let's hope we find that stone. I think we will. Wow. That's something. Look at that bracelet. And there's a design on the other side. Is this 1928? Hmm. It's got a big toggle clasp. Wow. Interesting. It's cold out right now, so I'm not sure if these are cold. I think they are. So maybe those are a stone. I don't know. That's really pretty. No magnet. It almost looks like they each open like lockets. Well, that'll be something I'll have to research. And here's a princess necklace. Blue stones. You don't see blue often. Feels like they're glass. I'm seeing they're all there. Are they? Yes. And we have the spring ring class. That's pretty. Very, very sweet. That'll look really nice after it's cleaned up. Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. It's an earring. They're getting bigger. <laughs> the, the more we dig into the box, the bigger the earrings are getting. Oh my gosh. 
That's beautiful, though. Really beautiful. Wow. And what are you? Hey, this reminds me of like Chapita. This looks really something special. I mean, look at all of that. That's a lot of work. A lot of different stones and details. That is very interesting. I wonder what this is made of. Hmm. So cool. And now here I go adjusting my light again. I had to have it out of the way when I opened the box, so now I can bring it back down lower. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's good. Good, good. Let's get some of this out and see. Now, I had a bunch of bracelets in another box that were just like this. There was a name on the bracelet, but I can't remember. Very colorful. Ooh. Look at this gorgeous baby. Oh my goodness. That's real glass crystal. Absolutely stunning. Oh, how many things can I keep? This is so beautiful. I think that would be a, a brass spring ring. The beads are on a chain. They're not on string. They're on a chain. Look at the sparkle. This is a lot of fun. Hmm. Another very different earring. Really very, what do you call those paintings? Abstract painting sort of style. Well, we'll put it up here with the other guy. And some more pretty blue. That's cute. Light blue. I hmm. don't want to say they're glass. It's really tough. Like I said, it's cold out right now, so it's hard to tell what's cold and what's not. Necklace, lobster claw. I don't see a maker. I think there's rhinestones around here as well. That's a pretty one. That's going to look great on our necklace neck thing. What else? What else? What else? Wow, look at all of this. So pretty. Amazing, amazing colors. Hey, here's our other big giant earring. All ready. Well, that means the stuff didn't move around that badly in the shipping, which is wonderful. So hopefully that means less breakage. Wow, some really interesting stuff. Okay. Let's see. This is on cotton cord, I think. Acrylic beads. Gold tone medallion type necklace. Oh, this one looks... It's cracked. So we have a craft item. That's called abstract, for sure. I'm like making an understatement. What's next? This is an earring. Okay, why is there tape on it? We don't make earrings with tape, guys. We make them with glue and metal. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's really interesting. We'll wait for its mate. Wow. Look at that. So different. Probably rose quartz, I would say. I can heat up Miss Prissy and we can, from time to time, see what's what. That's different. Oh, wait a minute. The stretch is all stiff. Wow. 
someone fell in love with it, they could restring it, restretch it, but oh, it's going to have to go and craft. Looks like it was new or they never took the tag off. Oh, this is a stone as well. See that bluish type stone? They're all stones. What they did was paint it over the front of them. That's interesting. Oh, Miss Percy's still heating up, and there's an earring that fell in sort of a metal druzy style. Oh, there she is. Okay. Come on, girl. What have you got for us? It's pink, pink jade. Or maybe, no, it's rose quartz. It did go into the quartz area. So right on the bottom, very bottom line, the bottom black line, the needle is right in the middle. And you'll see three words, quartz, amethyst, citrine. That's the area where those three stones would fall in the, the tester's um, requirements. So let's see what the blue one reads. It's reading more in the chrysophrase area. So it is natural stone that someone actually painted over the top of, but it needs a new stretch. What have we got? Let's move along. Something macrame. What? Oh my. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say. I don't. What would you say if you, if somebody gave this to you, you opened a box at Christmas and, and they gave this to you and, don't tell me more still end up. It's a J. Crew. I guess you'd say, hey, thanks for the really cool J. Crew necklace, because what? I like how they prong set the stone. See the prongs there? That's a lot better than gluing. Well, not better, but it's just different. And it is, it does take more time and there's just more quality to that. So, wow. I mean, it's not my style, but it's in great condition. There's nothing missing. And it's a big, giant, heavy duty, huge J. Crew necklace. Hope you're enjoying this. This is really. A colorful, colorful bag. Oh, I love when they paint gold around the edge of the stones. This is an acrylic bracelet. The stretch is kind of gone. Oops, I'm sorry. But this is what it looks like. Craft another acrylic bracelet. Here, maybe I should put you here and put you here. So, very sparkly, very pretty, but how's the stretch? Not, not great. It's not terrible. Mm. I don't think I'd risk it, and I see some stones missing. Another craft. This looks like an earring. It's not real metal. Cute, though. Wow different, really different styles. And wow, talk about a tassel. It's coming out yellow on the camera, but it's a nice, like, real true orange. And a clip-on at that. Wow. That's an older earring. Doesn't magnet, but the top does. Okay. Wow. We'll have to wait for your buddy. See a Chico's tag. Chico's made some really nice stuff. Beautiful. I've had some beautiful vintage pieces that people really, really loved. But this is a brand new one. Wow. Look at that. Silver tone. Chico's here. New tag here. 30, 89. Acrylic. Oh, 
these are cool. And look at that. I think that's gorgeous. Really good imitation of Mother of Pearl. And some more stripey stones, but you get the idea. And then, let's see, the bottom, it has this little extra tassel -y dangle. That is beautiful. I'm so happy with that. Really love it. Ooh, looks like we have a cool adjustable ring. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Metal design. Don't know what it's on. Makes me think of something else we saw in here, but I'll piece it together. I hope. <laughs> Alright, here's our other Druzy earring. So we've got those. Hey, no hitchhiking. And I'm just going to clip them together like this. That's what, this is what made me think of that ring. But no. Nope. These two things are not like the other. Not quite, but close. This is a company that I haven't heard of for a long time. Icing. Have they gone out of business? But this is pretty. I mean, that's when they were making all the antiqued looking, um, distressed looking, making things look like they were old brass. That's well done. I'm assuming it's new with the tag on it. Let's see what they wanted to get. Icing, 1450. Colorful, different. What are you, a bracelet? It is. Wow. This is great. They're glass. And look at this mesh bracelet. You wear it like this. It has a fold over clasp right there. Sort of a little bit darker gunmetal. That is wild. It's wild. What a terrific bracelet. I'm just going to enjoy myself and show you the pieces. I hope I'm not making people mad if they love something and I'm not giving a price. Um, just let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> if you'd like for me to give prices or not, I'm new at this and I just want to have a good time. But I also understand that people will see things and they'll really want them. I've been on the other end and I know. I really wish the person would have said how much something was or how they could get it. This has a tag and it says Kate Spade. Wow, this is a nice one. Kate Spade. Beautiful. Lobster claw, but I love how they put the gold ball there like, you know, the vintage necklaces had with the hook. Super condition. Black and gold. Woo, I'm happy. This is a suede bracelet. And I'm just going to put in craft because I don't see anything special about it and it's a little bit worn. Ooh, tassely, tassely. Wow, that's a a big earring again. This is the big earring box. Maybe that's what I'll call the video, the big earring box. Ooh, ooh. That's sweet. Uh-oh. No watches. Look at, this is just because I hate watches that they sent me this. I'm just kidding. They don't know who I am or what they're sending me, but that's like, dun, 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 watches again. I'm assuming you clip this onto something and 
Wow. It is leather. I think it's older. Is it leather? No, it's faux leather. Well, wow. I'll have to see what's going on with this because... Oh, looks like you can un unsnap it here. And then take this out. Wow, well, we'll just have to see what all that is. Cool. This is not... It's not. This is exactly the necklace I just showed you on the other video from a totally different thrift store. Stella and Dot. Yep, exactly. I know that because I spent all last night researching everything that was in the other box. Another one in good condition. Hmm. Nice. They make nice things too. This is still... Where's my favorite? This is my favorite so far. And the Chico's... But where's that beautiful baby? Oh, that precious sweetheart right there. That is going to stay right there because it's my fave. We have... Oh, it's so nice when there's a maker's mark on it. Talbots. Oh, these are really nice too. Talbots did a great job at these, on these statement, statement necklaces as well. Lovely colors. This is a reddish orange with a peachy pink, red, navy blue, and green. Talbot's nice. And that's the back of it. What are you, an anklet? Has the older style um, latch. Oh, what are these, like cha-cha things? Okay, so it's a beaded anklet with an older clasp. That would be pretty to wear at the beach or something. I think, I'll found, I, think I found our other major, um, what I call that, abstract, major abstract earring. Wow, this is the big earring lot. Hey, this matches the bracelets. Those first bracelets that I took out. This serves me right for not being more organized here. But when you're excited about stuff, it's hard to be. Okay, this is an earring. These are bracelets, but they're the same size almost. Well, they match. So we have matching bracelets and an earring and I'm sure the other one is in here giant earring box Woo. this is on a barrel class looks like it's real stone Let's see what Miss Prissy has to say yes it is Jade Beautiful jade pendant. Are these little guys jade? Yes, they are. These chips are jade, and let's see if this is rock crystal. It is. Rock crystal and jade necklace. That's lovely. Really pretty, huh? On the old barrel clasp. On the old barrel class. I don't know what what song I'm singing, but nice. Oh, we have art glass necklace. I don't want to stop, but my phone is dying. No, that's not fair. I'm having too much fun. Earring. This looks like it's seen better days. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for what you have done in this world, but you get to rest now and go into craft because you're all broken, but thank you for all that you have done. 
This is different. Hmm, it's like beach glass and pearls. They do look like real pearls. Let's see if this is rock crystal anyway. I'm not going to drag the machine over, but it is. It's rock crystal on this bead. And it looks like beach glass, and these do look like real pearls. It's on a lobster claw. Well, that's pretty. Nice. I'm going to have to figure a way that I lay this stuff out, because this is quite a lot. And, oh my gosh, we have the other bag to go through. Well, we've got lots of content and lots to look forward to, that's for sure. Wow. Very bright rhinestones against a coppery type of necklace. It's, it's pretty, but I think, again, it's had its heyday already. Oh, and there's no clasp on it, so. Thank you, necklace what you've done, but you're retired. Oh, pretty. It's a nice earring. Doesn't feel cold. Wait for your partner. Now, let's not have some more broken pearls. Hmm, they're not broken. I was going to say they look like they're the finish is wearing off, but they're, it's not. They do look like real pearls, but they just have different, I don't know. Do you guys know about pearls? I mean, that's not an expensive clasp. What would make them look, I don't know, like more opaque in some areas than others? I don't know. That's very different. I wonder if someone replaced the class because they are knotted and the string inside looks much older than what this class would be. But I don't know. I don't know. Just gonna have to think about this one and see what you guys comment. I hope maybe I can get something through the loop that might help us. Does that help? It's really hard because you're working backwards in the loop in the camera. So that's really interesting. I don't know what to make of it. Feels like either glass or pearls. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's a cutie, but I think it's broken. Yeah. So craft. I think we found our other really different. Uh, is that? No, it's not broken. It just doesn't have its little um, covery, cover thing on it. Hmm. So different. I'll have to look for Chapita. I think Chapita earrings have a... Yeah, they do have a lot of things like this. But I would think I would see the name already. Sometimes it's right there. We'll see. This is a brass tone bracelet. I'm not sure if that's inlay or if it's painted. Let's have a closer look with the loop. Oh, wow. It's actually really inlay. And it's real true, like, cloisonne. The gold parts you see there are actually pounded in. And then there's stones inside. Isn't that nice? Wow. Wow. That's a really nice piece. Very interesting. Seed bead. Oh, it's adorable, but there's no 
Maybe we'll find a little hook for it. And here's another. So pretty. I'm sure we can easily put some hooks on there, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, another pair right here. <gasps> More cloisonne. Isn't that nice? Just black and gold. The butterfly and little flowers. Look how pretty the back is, too. A little bit of bent, but I will carefully bend that back. I learned the hard way. You don't just push it. I had these turquoise earrings that were really nice ones, and I bent the post back, and it broke off, and my heart broke with it. It's really upsetting. Nice. This reminds me of Napier bracelet, the fruit bracelet that I just had and I sold. So cute. This is a lovely like cobalt blue lucite. Let's see, can you see? There it is. Cute stuff. There's another cute earring. Pierced black earring with the um, yeah, pierced there. Oh, here's another one of these that matches this, and this time they do have their hooks on them. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, these are one long bead. I don't think I've seen that before, but that's pretty. I'm moving along before my phone dies, although you won't know on your end what happens on this end because it'll all just be pieced together to one video, but... Nice. These are nice. It reminds me of another thing that happened. I got some earrings. Oh, I got a box, I think, from... I think it was a blue box, and there was one earring like this, but this part was gold, and I turned it over, and it, I couldn't read the name. It took me a long time, but then I figured out it was called Tabitha, I think. I debated for a long time whether to sell one earring. I put the earring on and a girl was so happy. Her mother-in-law had lost one of them and she was so happy to find one for sale. So that really encouraged me to, yes, sell single earrings because someone could be looking for it, especially something that specific. So these have had a rough ride as anyone would in that bag, but these are cute. They look to be older. Lucite construction looks like an older vintage construction. I'll fix that later, but... And they're right next to each other. There is some kind of really big shell, metal, something in here. Wow. A little bit tangled with some other things. Yeah, the last box that I got from this place had a lot of vintage clip-ons and really nice stuff. This looks very different, but we haven't got to the to that beast over there yet. We don't know what we'll find in there until we get there. Macrame something. Oh, wow. Macrame. With some sort of stone. I still have the machine on. And it is showing that it's a quartz. Cool. Oh, I can't help but stop, and, and then something else takes my attention away. Look at that poinsettia, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, is it a pin? Oh, it's got a little chippy on it. A little chip right there, it's so beautiful. I don't care, I will wear that. 
It's so pretty. Wow. Lots of little things, lots of giant things, lots of beads. We have lots to look at. Sweet. That's definitely a mother of pearl or a dyed shell. Sorry, dyed shell. On copper. Hmm. Okay, well the next picture that you will see will be this untangled. And I'll give me a minute to go charge my phone. Hope you're having a great time. I know I am. Okay, this took me a little bit, but I got it untangled. I thought it was broken. I almost put it in craft. But I think these chains are supposed to hang down like that. So it's not broken because they continue all the way up to the top, these three copper color chains, right? One, two, three. And then they hang down all through the necklace. All seashells, all metal, antiqued bronze sort of look. Starfish, I mean, you can see what's there, but crystals, rhinestones on the shell. The rhinestones are there, and they're there. Oh, this is sweet. This makes me think of Popesco, Catherine Popesco. Wow, this is, this held up pretty good in that bag for the rhinestones to still be there. I don't know if there's a little, no, that's, is there a little thing missing there, or is it supposed to be? Not sure, but anyway, that's that necklace, and there is a name on it. Might not be able to see on camera. Anthropology, I think, or mythology, sorry. Mythology. So, I don't know much about mythology jewelry, but that's their piece. Pretty stunning, huh? And I found this pin. Beautiful pin. Aurora Borealis stones on a silver tone. Is that something in there or is that a wire? Oh, it's a little piece of thread in there. I'm not sure. I don't think it's supposed to be in there. That would have nothing to do with the construction. Yeah, I think it's just probably got stuck in there from something. But that's pretty, huh? I like the design very much. I don't see anything missing. But very, very lovely. And I found the other one of these. I mean, I don't know if I'm excited about that. Looks like... It looks like tape right here, but it's not. But there is tape here. I honestly, I don't know what to do with these. Maybe put them in craft? Um, they're cool. I mean, that's quite a statement, but just don't know what to do with them. These are really beautiful. They're lucite plastic or lucite, but they look like real marble. Pierced earrings. Really cool deco design. Another unusual. And also these bracelets. I found two or three others. I think these two are alike, but this one is more brown tones and this one is more orange. So I can see lots of things that went together for someone in their outfits with these items. My kitty cat is going to do his scratchy box right under the table, so he may make a little bit of noise, but he's a good boy. Not that scratchy box. Okay, this looks like an antiqued 
purposely antiqued earring um, shell underneath. Don't see the other one just yet. Did we see this? This is a pin. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's a pin. It's got flowers on it. Uh, that's I don't know what else to say. There is one other thing that happened while I was waiting for my battery. I found this necklace. It is made of real rose quartz. I tested it. It's got real pearls. And it's just a little bit broken on the end. See how that... But this is sterling silver. The clasp. Oh, I don't even want to mess with it because I taped these pieces up here and I don't want it to come undone, but this is what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? Sterling silver on this side as well. I tested, this is rock, rock crystal um, and that's rose quartz and those are real pearls. Little seed pearls or potato pearls. So, I didn't want it to fall apart at all any more than it was. Put it in the bag. Sterling silver class. Someone that makes jewelry would know how to fix that in a heartbeat. So, I'm hoping someone will say, yes, I love it, and I'll take it for $10. I'd love to send that to someone for 10 They can fix it and have something beautiful. And we have another sort of Art Deco pin. I have no idea of the age of this. Um, it's very cute. Doesn't it look like a hat? Like a woman's hat? Sweet. wonder if that will come off. Let's see. Yes. It's not a scratch. It's, um... Maybe. So I'll have to see. I'll clean it up and have a look. Let's see what else we can get out of here. We've got a couple of earrings that are leaves. And I don't like how they look. So I'm just going to... I hate to throw them away. Maybe I'll soak them a little bit, but... may just pass those on. No scratchies. Okay, this looks nice, but I'm not sure I can get it out yet. Okay, we have an earring. We have a red necklace barrel clasp. Oh, that's some pretty glass. Some marbly art glass. And this feels like glass as well. That's nice. Aw, oh, broken piece. That's so dangerous and sharp. I think I'll put it in craft, but I'll wrap that special and write that it's broken so no one hurts himself. Aw, oh, that's a shame. It's so pretty. Well, someone can take that one broken one out. Well, that one and that one. Yes, I'm sure that creative jewelry makers will know exactly what to do. Some more glass. Ooh. What colors in this bag? This looks to be... Wow, I don't know. That has to be a different class than what was on it. I'm seeing glass so far. Some more foil art glass, is that what you call it? Beads, and wow, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So, it looks like... Looks like this. Very funky. I'm thinking maybe it had a hook clasp, or maybe this was the hook someone put a lobster claw because this is the other end and look at that sweet little bead on the end but nonetheless that's what's on it for now let me see if it says anything no looks to be brass like maybe it was fixed a time or two so pretty art glass What are you? Oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh. 
That is blinding me. It's gorgeous. Oh no, it's bent. Oh no. I'm so scared to even... Wow. Okay, it says something. It looks like it's signed. It says Austria. Isn't that awesome? Austria crystal brooch. Wow. That's so pretty. I can't wait to wear that. I'm going to take some little pliers I have that are like a jeweler's plier. And so care I'm so scared to fix it, but I have to. Or maybe I can take it to a jeweler, but I'm not sure how old this would be, but wow. That's got to be fixed. It's too bad they had to put it in this bag, but I mean, good for me because I got it, but it got so squished. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's so pretty, though. I hope you're enjoying this. Look at that. Mm -mm. Okay, wow. That is a clip-on. Like crocodile sort of oh come on don't tell me that's missing oh I see another one. Oh yeah it's missing that one but it could be in the bag and it looks like it's fixable nice silky tassel I heard someone say you could steam these and they straighten right up so that would be nice we'll have to see what happens with that one <clears throat> We've got this wild and wonderful 70s, I don't know, pretty. And another red tassel -y earring. And a big medallion necklace here. It's on some nice cording. Hasn't been worn, if at all, because there's. it just feels clean and fresh. Okay, is that... Oh, it's a broken clasp. That's a bummer. It's so pretty. Well, someone who crafts is going to be excited about that. I mean, I guess I could open that ring and put a different um, lobster claw clasp on, but I really don't have the time. So we'll pass that on. Another funky tassel earring. Looks like a big pendant. It's not a stone, I don't think. I guess I could Test it quickly. Oh, it is a stone. All right, so this is interesting. What are you? Hmm. I would have to look up what tanzanite is, what colors it is. It's, um, let me explain. It has, I don't know how good you can see in the camera but I'm seeing almost a brownish color there. It looks like it's gray to begin with, but when you're really looking at it, can you see through right there? It's like a citrine color. Yeah, that's what it looks like, a gray citrine. That's nice, it's really nicely made. Don't know if it's sterling, it doesn't, no, it's not sterling, but it's a real stone. Wow, maybe we'll find the chain in here that went with it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at these earrings. Aren't they great? Clear lucite pierced earrings. These are really a blast. I'm loving it. Okay, these are not going anywhere. Wow, it's like ice. 
Or they look like ice. Nice. Wow. A wild and wacky pin. Not sure if I can call this cloisonne. Let me have a really close look and see if it's true cloisonne or just... Hmm. I don't know because it's a clear, you know, like a clear coating poured over the top of it, so I couldn't say, but it's purple, pretty, would look really nice on with the right outfit. Gold tones in it. What's this gigantic, wow, this is a biggie biggie, big yellow and turquoise shell wooden bead and this is definitely leather right here that's not faux leather hmm there's no maker on it but the materials are nice and that's really purposeful for someone to use such good materials and there's a bead in here that's quite a statement I think what in the world is going on right now? Just shut the front door, we used to say. Okay. I'll back up, everyone. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is that not cool? I mean, imagine like a white turtleneck and you, you're wearing this necklace. That's totally cool. Everyone would say, I love your necklace. And you'd say, I know. So yeah, it's plastic, lightweight, turquoise and brown. The beads match it perfectly. So cute. Look at this pile of jewelry. Okay. Uh-uh. I mean, there's so many moments in this video, I just don't have any words. Can you, can you just, somebody tell me what's going on? That's a necklace. Mesh metal. Hmm, is that right? Yes. Okay. Looks like how light right there. It's not coming up as howlite. It's coming up as quartz. Or tourmaline. I'm learning my stone, so... It is a natural stone, whatever that... Um, whichever it is, I don't know. But it's a natural stone, and that's quite a necklace. And that's a bracelet. It's a spoon bracelet with glass on it. A big piece of art glass. That's pretty. I mean, that's really pretty. Don't know if this is like all sterling, but we'll have to see. Different. Oh, it's a, not a spoon, it's a fork. And the fork... Um, yeah, the parts of the fork come around here. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm trying to say. Come on, it's getting late over here. Phone's dying, I'm trying to hurry. Okay, what's this? You're looking sort of like a... Uh, Brighton style. Maybe it's a lariat thing. Don't know. I'm not seeing the B anywhere. It's almost like a. There's an M actually. So, not sure what this is yet. We'll get back to that. Almost got through this bag. 
the texture on that glass. Hmm. The old barrel clasp. Oh my gosh, I don't think it's been opened in a long time. I might have to soak that a little bit. Put a little oil on it. Neat. There's a shell earring. Another one. So this pair. Cute. Earring here. Seed bead. There's our other shell one that we found earlier. Dyed shell, so I'll put those together. Yeah. Well, not too bad. Wow, that's interesting. Like a leopard print. Plastic pierced earring. Cute. More pieces of that broken necklace. Coconut shell bead. We've got some pink earrings. Ooh, here's what I wanted to get to, this black faceted glass beaded necklace. It's really pretty. They're glass for sure. There's no clasp though. And there's where? There's like copper showing through. Oh, it's a bummer. It's a pretty one. I'm gonna have to craft it. <coughs> Put it in craft. Okay, where's the other one of these? Or am I seeing the same one? Funkiness. Red tassel earrings. Pair there. We even have purple. There's every color in this bag. I don't think I've not seen one. Oh, something had like tortoise shell imitation. Tortoise shell beads. Must have been pretty. I like that one. Aw, oh, cutie. Isn't that a cute pink pearl, imitation pearl pin? That's neat. Lots of beads in there. Wow. Oh, there's our other one of those. And a ring. Stretch ring. Funky, funky. Okay, there's a pair there, and oh my gosh, that's like the biggest statement necklace I think I've ever seen. There are a few others in here that are almost as big, but this takes the cake. Green enamel. The chain is in great condition. The whole necklace is, actually. Wow, giant lobster claw. And put it there for now. This goes with, where's our other funky monkey? Hmm. Here it is, lost in the pile. And here's this one, I knew there were two. Oh, a sweet little bracelet. Those are real pearls, so that's gotta be a sterling clasp. Because that looks very nice. I'll have a look. Yes, it's a sterling silver clasp. Real pearl bracelet. Well, you're certainly visiting amongst some eccentric jewelries, aren't you? This is neat. Pierced earring. This is nice. It's made of nice metal and it doesn't feel like plastic. It is, but it doesn't feel like light plastic. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is the other big giant tassel earring that's already in our pile. And this little guy's stuck in there. Come on, you. Okay. I know the other one of this is here. I saw it earlier. So, almost through. These are really mustardy yellow, a little bit on the orange side. Ooh, are they made to look old or are they old? Nonetheless, they're beautiful. I mean, if you needed something that color, that's pretty. We have some 
seed bead dangly earrings, black color, QTs. And wow, look at this one. I don't know if I saw this before or if there's two. So far there's been pairs of everything, so I'm going to hold out hope. Here's our antiqued shell chandelier type earring. The other one's here somewhere, I know it is. We saw it. Oh, I'm glad I found this because that's cute. So there's that pair. I don't see the coconut one. Um, oh my gosh, we got through the whole bag. I didn't think we could do it in one video. But we did. Oh no. This pretty one is broken. The pieces are in the bag. Oh, wait, there's one more thing in here. Ooh, that looks like pearls as well. And this, I bet you this is, um, what am I thinking? Amethyst. I really think it's amethyst. Let's have a look. And then we'll call it a day. I'll bag up all those beads and things. And this other earring, if I can't fix it, we'll have to put those to craft. But they're so cute. All right, let's see if we have amethyst on this necklace. Let's see. Can you see it? There you go. Okay. Yes, amethyst. Okay, I'm getting better at this every day. Is this an amethyst bead? Yes, it is. Isn't that nice? Real pearls, amethyst. Hey, I wonder if this is garnet or if it's more amethyst. Oh yeah, it's on the purple side. Oh, it might be garnet. Hmm. All right, let me show you. Can you see how we've got purple color and then red? So I'm thinking that these are garnet. Oh my gosh, what a mess behind me. <laughs> Look at all this jewelry. So let's test a few of these and see if they are garnet. That would be really interesting. Yeah, they're coming up right in the middle of the garnet. So you see garnet, tourmaline, that black line there? It's coming up right in the middle of it. Perfect. Well, it's going too far because my hand's too close. That's why I like to test several beads because you can never just go by one. And you don't want your fingers too close, but these are tiny. So there's our amethyst. And I really need to be sure if these are garnets. I think so. Yeah, I'm sure. That's really sweet. Now we'll see if it has... Oh, well, it's not clasped properly. It's kind of stuck. I hope it's not stuck, like, for good. Let's see here. Come on, pretty baby. Okay, phew. Now, here? Yes, that's better. Let's see, do we see anything on there? Let's move Miss Pris. Miss Prissy. So appreciate that machine. Really helps. So if this doesn't say 925, I'll be really surprised. And I'm not surprised because it does. Really beautiful. So I've got a bracelet with real pearls, sterling, and sterling with garnet and amethyst and pearl. And look at the Y drop on that. That's so beautiful. That's really beautiful. I, I mean, I just can't believe it's amongst these other wild and wacky jewelry pieces. So I'm going to push this over, and I have some cleaning up to do, but I wanted to show you. This looks like the, the um, what do you call it, a bale that might go to that piece that we saw. And this is what's left. Some beads and things. I, I don't know what they go to, but anything that looks like it goes to that one necklace that broke, I'll put all the pieces in that bag. And I'm kind of like really meticulous. I go through every last little speckle in every bag. Any even little tiny rhinestone, I'll keep it and I'll put it aside because 
Many times you'll find a piece of jewelry later. There'll be a tiny rhinestone missing. And rather than go look for something, you have the original right here. So I do save them for a long time. I mark the bag, what box it came with, and yeah, it works out, really helps sometimes. So I'm gonna go do that. And you have a great day or night or whatever it is for you. Thanks for spending time with me. I had a great time. I can't wait to start getting comments from you all and just hear if you're having fun and what you like. So thanks. Have a great night, day, whichever. Bye.